What's up, world? It's Action Fredo. It's your boy, LC. You heard? Have we heard of Lucy before? Hmm. I don't think so. New band alert. Hashtag NBA. NBA. Yay, 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 yay. Hands up if you're feeling the vibe. Right now, we're pulling from our VIP patron list. Uh, we're going to post this in Patreon first and uh, maybe on YouTube later. But we're going to cater to you guys since we missed the VIP stream since your boy was out there in Florida. Mm-hmm. Mission. This is Goni, I believe, the requester. Yeah, G-O-N-Y, Goni. Goni. Yeah, I have no expectations. This is new. Snooze, I feel like, uh, what, what What do you think when you hear snooze? Somebody I get sleeping upset. on me? I get upset when I hear the word snooze. Why? Because uh, my wife will set her alarm at like 5.30 or 6 in the morning and snooze to about 8 or 8.30. Oh, that's too many snoozes. We got the most calm argument the other day. It was actually two days ago. Mm-hmm. I put the phone up to her ear when it was going off for like the third time. And then she she looked at me funny and I cut it off. And I was just like, what time are you getting up? Because <laughs> this has been going off for two hours. Like, I need to know. To the point to where she was just like mumbling stuff to me. And I was like, I'm sleeping in the guest room. <laughs> she was like, go ahead, go ahead. Man. Mm-hmm. I used to do that when I used to have to get up early. But it was like for emergencies. Because I would go back to sleep. <laughs> I would literally set three alarms. Like first one, dang, I'm up. Like, let me lay down for at least three more minutes, man. Oh, you that tight? Two Bruh. minutes, a, two minutes will give you more energy. Actually, I was spacing them out like seven. There was weird times because I feel like if it's more of a weird time, I have better chances of waking up. Like eight forty-seven. Exactly. I'll be doing that too. I'm like exactly, five thirty ain't gonna work. It's got to be like five twenty-four. I used to have this job that was like this close from slavery. <laughs> like, <laughs> bro, it was super hard labor 5 a.m. in the morning. Mm. So I'm like, well, that first alarm at 4, and then I'm going to set the next one 408. Mm-hmm. Next one, 413. Mm. And then I'm up absolutely. I got to get up at 417. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so or you're going to be, be cutting it close. Or, or I'm cutting it close. Actually, I, I used to cut it close, like, on purpose. Like, I wanted to get fired from that job. So mm-hmm. I would walk in at 5 0, either, either 5 4, 5 5 every day. Yeah, man. But if they needed you, they didn't care. Yeah, they didn't care. Mm hmm. Hey, Fredo, you want more hours? Like, damn, I thought y'all was going to fire me. Right. <laughs> all right. I'm sorry. We got off chopping. It's all good. Let's do this. Okay, we got instruments. Mm. Piano and violin. This might be a ballad. Yeah. Gray color people. Now I gotta go, she had an upset. But you don't have to be a little bit. We are golden for this freedom. Ran. You're such a good do everything. We're talking about what I was just talking about. Yes, bro. Escaping the Matrix. Mm-hmm. He oh, he's got the tank on deck. Beautiful. Hey. Ooh, snaps, bro. Hey. It's a groovy violin, bro. Even that bass, bro. This top tier right here. Yeah. 
I gotta pause at least once. Ooh. That groove, that guitar, or not guitar, but the violin is groovy, man. Oh my gosh, it's something special, bro. I don't think I've ever heard anything with this type of flavor, bro. It's like eating a piece of chicken with some new seasoning on it, and you bite it and look at it. Like, it's God. like jazz, funk, classical fusion. Oh my goodness, bro. It's fire. Jazz, funk, classical fusion. That's what I'm calling this. That's that's a new coin right there. And I love the lyricism and concept of the song. It was literally just talking about what I was talking about. Like yeah. I had a slave job and I like hated it. Mm -hmm. But they're talking about tapping into like the young you when your imagination was running wild and you all dreams were possible. Like you can't lose sight of that. Bro, I made a commitment to myself that I would never become an adult. Like Resp out, you know, I'm going to have my responsibilities like when I have kids yeah. and like, you know, I make sure the bills are paid and all that. Mm -hmm. But like I'm going to grow in age, but I'm not going to grow old. And I found that out when I worked many, many years in geriatrics. I was a salesperson and I worked for a physical therapy company um, in buildings with senior citizens. And I saw a cycle. And it's like yeah. you almost like you get to a certain age and you have so much pride and ego in your career and your family and this, this, that. And then it's like you kind of go back to like this state of like childhood. Yeah. And like these people were like 80, 90 years old. And I'm like I'm in there playing games with them, like hitting a balloon and stuff back and forth. So I'm like, <laughs> what is the point of identifying with that median process of like being in a responsible adult, adult like a responsible adult in the in the society's eyes you know what i'm saying yeah and sure. there was a conversation at one of our family uh we're out at the family farm and we were having a bonfire and they were like whose husband here is the most immature and like everyone was going on me like oh it's larry all day like he ain't mature da, da, da. and i kind of took offense to it just for like three seconds i was like man screw y'all like I'm making money, like, mm -hmm. y'all stressing about y'all's jobs, like, do this, this, like, man, pop yeah. all y'all. But then I was like, you know what? That's right where I want to be because your husband's probably boring. <laughs> and I literally said that in my house. I was like, Eric or Bob or Tony probably goes to work and he comes home and he's, you're bored with him. He's boring. And I was like, and I'm never going to be boring with my wife. She's always going to have see me playing with the kids. I'm always out there. I talk to the kids like they're adults in my neighborhood. They riding little bikes. I'm like, what's up, little man? What you got going? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I don't want to ever be like in the adult box. So I like this concept. Same, same, same. Screw that, man. I'd rather do what I love mm -hmm. for 14 hours a day than be a responsible adult and take an eight-hour slave deal. Right. It's, it's not, not for, for me. me. Not for me. Right, right. Nothing against people who, you know, have jobs or whatever. You know what yeah, everybody's called to do something, and there's people. Yeah. We need some doctors and stuff to, to not be clowning like yeah. me. I'll be in an emergency room like. We should even, not even a job. <laughs> it's like what you want to do. Right. Like, one of my best friends is a nurse because he wanted to be a nurse. And right. And he enjoys that. So I would never discredit him for doing that. Like, that's what you're called to do. I'm, I'm called like, a clown. Yeah, and I just was not called to stack those boxes or shave those pieces of metal. No, bro. Then I'm also not called to be a surgeon because I'll be like, where'd this go again? <laughs> They'll be all right without it. Like, bro, that's the amygdala. Bro, they going to die. Oh, well, <laughs> right. dust it off. I dropped it. Yeah, You know man. what I'm saying? So, mm -hmm. so be it.
Beautiful. Wow. Oh my gosh. I've never heard anything like that before in my life. Ever. What just happened? That violin solo, I was I had the chills coming up my arms, bro. Yeah. I was like, what? I was like thinking in what scenario are you like, let's start a band. Oh, by the way, one of our homies plays the violin. He's in the band too. <laughs> like, <laughs> can we please find somebody who plays violin? Like that's dope. That's oh my god! I, I haven't seen that before, bro. I'm speechless almost. That is such a beautiful song mm-hmm. from like just a hearing standpoint, a listening standpoint, and then the actual concept of the song is something that you can go on and talk about for days. Like yeah. this is us, bro. Like yeah. there, this is this is absolutely perfect. Yeah, and I want to go back to like some of my statements I said earlier, mm-hmm. like. I don't want people to think that being an entrepreneur is not hard work. Like that's a huge misconception. Like not working for somebody else. You sign up for more stress and more workload because it's a gift and a curse. There's nobody telling you what to do, Mm -hmm. but you have to figure that out on your own. You know, so it is there's always work to be done. You know what I mean? But I just don't want people to feel the same way I felt when I hated my job. And it all, and in turn, it made me like somewhat hate a portion of my life because it takes up a poor a, like a lot of your time. And, bro, another and thing, another thing, just to piggyback what you say, what you just said is it the message is only for people who need to receive it. Yeah. And I felt like before higher faculty and before like really building the friendship that we have today, there wasn't anybody, maybe one other person that I could talk to who truly understands how I felt inside. It's like I would get a job and I would be great at it and come home and feel empty. Like Mm -hmm. I'm just I was like, I can't be myself. I can't get all of my creativity out and at the end of the day like that's ultimately my goal is like i want to tap into as much creativity that i have i want to be as awkward as possible as different as possible and somehow share that with the world and it was like in a corporate setting i could only get away with a little bit of that and that's just for me yeah but there's some people who feel lost until they get into that setting of someone telling them what to do and giving them guidelines and structure and that is great but yeah. just for the select few, whatever percentage of that of the world out there who needs to hear this, like just know that you are not alone. Like yeah. you just gotta find your own way. And when you have so much potential in front of you and no one directing you and guiding you, it's easy to be like, Oh, I went hard yesterday. I can kind of slack off today. Or I don't know what to do, so I'm just not gonna do anything. Like it, me and him have went through all of it, bro. We yeah. came in here and not eaten, and we looked up, and it's 15 hours that went by, and we're, like, been grinding, grinding, grinding. Then we've came in here and been so confused that we didn't get anything done. Yeah. But you got to learn how to, like, employ yourself, and at the end of the day, if it, only for certain individuals is it worth it. Not everybody. Yeah, for sure, for sure. So, you know, I hope hopefully that inspires somebody. Somebody, at least somebody. one person. If it's if this helps one person in the comments. It don't even and if you're you don't want to get too vulnerable, 
send us a DM on Instagram. Like, let us know. Because the day that we watched that day six uh, zombie, I think, is it day six? I yeah. think it is day six zombie. I had somebody send me, like, two pages, like, mm-hmm. what you said in that video is exactly how I feel. And that's the reason why I will sit here and be vulnerable on camera and react is because, like, I don't care about the masses of the numbers. Like, I don't need millions and millions of people to feel a certain sway, uh, feel a certain way by me, by me, you know, sharing anything. My goal was just to help a small handful of people who were like me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, For sure. And he cried that day, y'all. I remember that day six reaction. He, <laughs> <laughs> he was just. <laughs> yeah, bro. I did. Not yeah. cry. <laughs> you be trying to throw me under the bus. No, I'm not, bro. It was it was raw emotion, bro. I respect that. Yeah, I didn't think you saw me, bro. I was yeah. in the bathroom. Like, was like, that I became a zombie. Nah, man. Like, me. Nah, that, that's real talk, though. Like, mm-hmm. if we can inspire people, that's why we started this. We didn't start higher faculty to do reactions, man. Right. It just kind of happened. So, you know, we'll always, like, have K-pop be a part of us, but it's like... There's going to be a certain time where we kind of like start introducing other ideas, which is like will happen like almost immediately. And I know you've heard us say that. Yeah. Since the beginning. And and some people are like, well, where is it? Well, yeah. It takes more time because it's it doesn't we've mastered the art of reactions. And I'm not saying that like boastfully, like we've mastered the art of being able to sit down and compress time. You Mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Like. We can do it fast and efficiently. But the the other content that we're working on takes hours of extensive editing. It takes travel. It takes brainstorming sessions and all types of different things. So that's why you haven't fully seen it yet. But it don't think that we ain't working. We always up to something. Amen. For sure. For sure. And we both do a lot outside of just reacting to. Right. You know, so you got to factor in that this is, like he said, only about 10 percent of what our lives are mm-hmm. you know what i mean so but we genuinely appreciate everybody for being along the journey and if you've been here for a long time and you still rocking with us a pr- thank you and if you are brand new to this channel consider hitting the subscribe button mm-hmm. this is higher faculty man we will combine education and entertainment we have already yep but that's what we'll continue to do and do it to the core in the future that's right thank you guys And when you come up, stay down. You heard?